you know, I didn't have as much sex as I had until the year I was diagnosed because I was so afraid that I was going to feel so sick that I wanted to have as much pleasure as I could. And yes, sex after breast cancer is taboo. There are doctors that will not talk about it. Um, my doctors didn't really get into sex life and how it would be after my surgery and after treatment. Knowledge is power, and if you don't feel that your doctors are answering the questions that you need, then you either need to get new doctors or um, do some research or speak to people who have had it done. I have so many people come to me now. I mean, going into the shower for the first time, I sat and cried. I remember thinking through, well, like, I'm gonna have to get into the shower and sort of face this way so I don't see the mirror in my bathroom, right? Because who wants to look at scars? There was a reason that my marriage fell away being newly married, um, when you are in a chemo-induced menopause, um, the changes, aside from the visual changes that you see when you look in the mirror, you feel inadequate and giving yourself to your husband or your partner is, is a difficult thing. It's very challenging and it takes a special person and a special love to look past that. The first time I saw the scars was hard. It doesn't feel like it's your body. This is not my body. This is not what I was hoping for. I gained weight from chemo, so I'm heavier and I don't have my actual boobs. I don't have nipples. I have scars all over my chest. You can lose the androgynous areas of your body, and that's a real thing. And it's real for you, it's real for your partner. It's something to explore. They love you and they don't know what to do. Make them a part of it and make them feel included. And I think that is a healthy way to move forward. It's not an end, it's just a new exploration.